Hey everybody, Nathan Bingham here from Bingham's Custom Meats. We wanted to show you guys how we go through our holiday season with filling our prime rib orders. We usually get about 150, 200 prime rib orders that come through and generally they're all due within one or two days of each other. We're usually closed Christmas Eve, which puts one of our busiest days, the, the day before Christmas Eve and the day before that. How we fill all those orders, what we have found that works best here at Bingham's Custom Meats, we take the orders initially in a book, we write those down, and we're asking the customer's name and phone number, what day they wanna pick it up, the size of prime rib by how many pounds they need, and then also if it's gonna be seasoned. And so that gives us all the information that we need, and then prior to those days in the morning, first thing we do is we sort all of those orders by poundage and make piles from uh, biggest to smallest, so we have all the full-size prime ribs that are ordered on the bottom, the three, four, five pounders um, set up on the top, and then I'll go through and pull full prime ribs and trim the fat lip. And so we, the way that we trim here is I'll feel along the edge to make sure I can see where the fat lip connects to the ribeye, and then I'll cut an angled cut to remove that fat loin, and then I will save all of that fat and put it into a trim tub and prep all those prime ribs. So once I have a table full of prime ribs that are prepped, then I'll go through and start weighing them. I'll fill all the full prime ribs orders first to make sure I can get all those bigger ones out. And then I'll start my way from greatest to smallest. So a lot of the prime ribs will weigh 14, 15 pounds. Um, our most popular size is a 10 pound. So if, for instance, I would grab that 10 pound or that 15 pound prime rib and I would weigh it and then I would cut off a five and I would fill two orders at the same time. So we hammer through our orders that way. Then I'll set the, the cutting order on top of the, the ribeyes and then either myself or somebody else will start tying all of those. We have a signature Bingham's Custom Meats knot that we use here where it's a single string. The reason we use this knot is because there's less waste at the end of the string. And so we have one knot to begin with and then we use a full string all the way through and then we tie it off and then trim the end. So we only end up with each prime rib about a half inch of trim of string that goes into the garbage. Otherwise, cutting this many prime ribs and tying that many knots, we would have probably a half to an inch on every single knot and we'd end up basically just throwing away a whole spool of string. So we've developed this knot, it holds tight. There's two loops that we use on there so that way it doesn't slide back um, and we tie all of our prime ribs this way. And then they will be sorted into prime ribs that will be seasoned or unseasoned. The season will go into a trim tub. We have our own prime rib rub that we sell here at Bingham's Custom Meats or on our website. We season it with that prime rib rub and then we put all of the prime ribs, whether they're seasoned or not, into a vacuum bag and then we put those in the sealer. From the sealer, they'll go to the scale and they get wrapped and we put our signature uh, three steps to an easy prime rib pamphlet on top to give some people some more cooking instruction ideas and then we'll put the label and the seasoning sticker if it's seasoning on there so that way they have all the ingredients for the seasoning that we use. So this is what we do at Bingham's Custom Meats. If you guys are wondering if how that prime rib you got was so perfectly done, there's an example. Thanks guys.